In this video, we are going to review the advanced photography features of the Sekonic Speedmaster L858D. We will review ambient measuring modes, flash measuring modes, HSS measuring mode, and flash duration measuring modes. We will also review the basics of using radio triggering and walk you through the most common functions of the toolbox and custom functions. Let's start by reviewing the ambient measuring modes. T is for ambient shutter priority. F is for ambient aperture priority. TF is for ambient ISO measurement in which shutter and aperture are locked. Now let's review the flash measuring modes. This flash icon is for cordless flash mode. When you press the measure button, the meter will wait until it sees a flash go off and then provide you with a measurement. In multi-mode, it will give you a cumulative reading of multiple flashes. The flash C icon is for cord flash measurement mode, to be used in conjunction with a flash synchro cord. The flash C multi icon is for cumulative readings when using a synchro cord. The flash antenna icon is for radio flash measurements. This icon appears when you use the optional radio transmitter. The flash antenna multi icon is for cumulative reading when using a radio transmitter. Again, this icon appears when you use the optional radio transmitter. The HSS icon is for measuring the flash output when using high-speed sync. Below this, you have FDA for flash duration analysis measurement icons for uncorded, corded, and radio triggering with the optional radio transmitter. Next, let's explore how to customize the icons shown on the measure mode screen. Select the menu button, select custom settings, scroll down to page two. These four settings allow you to control what measuring modes are shown on the measuring mode screen. For instance, select ambient mode. You can deselect these cine modes if you plan to only shoot photos. Now you can see only the selected modes from our custom function screen show up. Next, let's review the contrast function. This allows you to see the difference between two lights. Take a measurement, press the Delta EV button, or if you've customized your screen and removed the Delta EV icon, turn the function on in the toolbox. You will see your first measurement will save in the memory so it can be compared to all following measurements. When taking a measurement to compare, make sure to continue to press the measure button or the screen will show your first measurement that is stored in M1. Now, it will tell you if your current measurement is plus or minus, more or less than the measurement saved in memory. For those new to Delta EV, simply think of this number as number of stops. To clear the memory, select the toolbox. Go to page two, simply tap memory clear. Now for another custom function tip. Many functions can be assigned to these two buttons. Simply select Menu, Custom Settings. On page one, you will see Function Button 1 and Function Button 2. These correspond to these buttons. Select one of them and you can assign any of these toolbox features to these function buttons. Let's review the HSS mode. HSS is used when you shoot with flash above your camera's normal flash sync speed. Metering these small pulses of light has never been possible prior to the L858. First, make sure the meter is in HSS mode. In most cases, you will need your camera to trigger the flash in order for your strobe to fire in HSS mode. It is also good to be sure TTL is turned off as your exposure can change from shot to shot using your camera with your desired shutter speed and ISO set. Press the measure button on your meter, fire your HSS enabled lights from your camera, and the 858 will give you your HSS measurement. If you are getting the under reading, you may need to enter the number of pre-flashes your strobe is using. You can set the number of pre-flashes by going to the toolbox. Go to page two. Select the number of pre-flashes and close. 
If you continue to get under readings or the metered exposures are inconsistent, please see the list of compatible flashes. Flash Duration Analysis Mode allows you to measure the flash duration of strobes. You can use it in cordless, corded, and wireless modes. You can set your desired T value, whether it's T.1 or T.5, by going to the toolbox, selecting page 2, selecting Flash Duration Analysis T value, then enter a value between 0.1 and 0.9, and select OK. Now you can measure flash duration. Simply tap the screen to also see a graph of the flash. Tap again to return to the measuring screen. The Sekonic 858D is currently compatible with Pocket Wizard, Ellen Chrome, and Photix receivers. There are three radio transmitter modules available. The RT20PW for Pocket Wizard US Canada frequency 344 MHz the RT3PW for Pocket Wizard European Frequency 433 MHz and the RT-ELPX for Ellen Chrome and Photix 2.4 GHz. There is a space under the batteries when you open the back of the meter to insert the transmitter. Once inserted, you will see the available radio transmitter measuring modes appear on the measuring mode screen. The power control screen allows you to adjust the power of compatible strobes. And by going to Tools, Page 2, you can adjust your radio frequency. You now know everything you need to take your photography to the next level with the L858 Speedmaster from Sekonic, the ultimate tool for professional photographers and cinematographers.